It's Sunday and with my new video posting schedule, I now do a quick preview video explaining what trap I'm going to feature tomorrow for Mousetrap Monday. There's been so many changes recently with YouTube and I now have to be really selective in what I show, how I edit the videos. I have to take a lot of footage out that people want to see, mostly the traps in action. So these preview videos are the only place you can see that footage. If you click the link in the description below, that will take you to the footage for tomorrow's trap. Now tomorrow's trap, I'm going to feature a kit that I got on Amazon called the Quicksand Mousetrap Kit. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video on the Quicksand Mousetrap. That's been a really popular video. It has a million and a half views in the last two weeks. And someone came up with a kit. I tested out and it works well. Something new that I tried when I filmed this Quicksand Mousetrap video is I did a behind the scenes with a second camera and I filmed the whole process from beginning to end. I get a lot of questions about how I film my videos, what camera gear I use, what video editing software. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna do a full video start to end of how I film my Mousetrap Monday videos. You'll get a lot of behind the scenes footage and explanations of why I do things and uh, my filming studio, that should be interesting. So stay tuned on Wednesday for the behind the scenes will be longer and for those fans who are really interested in how I film my videos. There are so many things going on with YouTube, really in the last year, but in the last few weeks, things have really gotten complicated. It started about a year ago with the adpocalypse and advertisers threatening to boycott and pull ads from YouTube for content related issues. And that led to wave after wave of creators having their videos demonetized, age restricted. And then in the new year, when Logan Paul filmed that dead body and then came back and filmed weird things with fish and also with tasering rats, that really affected everyone. YouTube's really changing things. And there's a lot of repercussions and blowback. Recently, the Slingshot channel is organizing a YouTube union, trying to combat some of the practices of YouTube. It's just crazy. One of my favorite channels, Ted's Holdover, an air gun channel. He's part of a community. They just got hit with really having their channels under assault. People started reporting them. They got strikes. They got triple striked at once. A huge number of channels got terminated, really for no reason. They've been long-standing channels and it's just crazy what's going on. Hopefully those are reinstated. That's why I do these Sunday preview videos. And uh, stay tuned, I'll talk more about all this stuff, but this seems to be working. People seem satisfied with being able to see the footage they wanna see on these preview videos. And I'm still showing really good videos on Monday. They're just selectively edited. So stay tuned, I got some good stuff coming.